Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Coda back here from Amazing ATS Semi Trucker 18. And thanks for joining us, Sparko. How's it going? And today we do have the updated Vipers 389 version 2.2, fully trailer cable capable. And this was just updated yesterday on the Steam Workshop. So if you do not have the truck, or if you do, uh, you will notice that the dealer fix is no longer in there. Go ahead and delete that. You may need to sell your current truck and then rebuy it, and then you will be all set and ready to go. But right now, we are sitting here in Albuquerque. We've got a very awesome paint job. We've got the Pride and Class Edition out today. And we are going to be going over to Phoenix with the first load. So without any further waiting today, guys, we're going to hop into the truck and get going. And what we have underneath the hood today, a Cummins 444, 520 horsepower, 18-speed transmission. The rear end is geared at 330. Semi Trucker, thank you so much for the mic follow there on Mixer. I appreciate it. And also, thank you so much for the hosting. something with a really loud ass Jake on it and I've been running a Cummins N14 a lot lately so I figured eh why not we're gonna drop the 440 444 in today a quad munch no we are just running a straight 6x4 now if I was doing uh, some heavy hauls then yeah I would have an 8x4 on the back Once we get up on the highway, I will go ahead and hop to the external view for you guys just joining the stream. That way you'll get a good look at the truck. Uh, pretty much it is. Now, I am running a modded profile. Uh, basically, I've got a ton of money and a ton of XP only because uh, I'm constantly taking mods in and out and buying trucks left and right. Hey, Dewan, I am doing awesome. How about you today? One thing I am really liking about 2.2, finally the mirrors have been fixed. They no longer look funny when you look out of them. Well, if the AI was going to sit there and not block the intersection, goddamn well I'm going to pull myself out. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, roughly it cost me at the time I built it, oh, probably around 1250 or so.
specs of the computer in case you're wondering is a i7-7700 32 gigabytes of RAM along with a GTX 1070 Lieutenant Colonel how are you doing this Sunday I appreciate the hosting One, are you going to be getting a steering wheel too? Let me go ahead and get the uh, cruise control set here at around 77 and then we're going to hop to the outside view. I am doing awesome Lieutenant Colonel. Oh, you can definitely, if you have an Xbox controller, you can use that too. But definitely, the more easier that it is to turn the steering wheel, instead of playing with a keyboard and mouse, the better off you're going to be. And of course, it wouldn't be a CODA stream without having some train horns on. Once we get over here to Phoenix, I am going to show you guys something with these headlights. Uh, the Viper did add some new headlights to the truck itself. And actually, let me see. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. But let me uh, go ahead and hop to the outside view and uh, see if you guys would be able to see it. Yes, this is a 389. Yep, actually, you can. Once the truck gets closer, you will see... Uh, my be I don't have any beacons on the truck, but the headlights are flashing. Yeah, pretty much the 389 is just an updated 379. A little bit longer nose, but they're basically around pretty much the same truck. I definitely appreciate that there, Sparko. As long as I don't do anything stupid like I did the other day and roll the truck onto its side, we'll be good. I try to stream, uh, it, my schedule lately has been a little screwed up. I've been quite busy in real life with work and other things going on, but I do try to stream at least three times a week. Francisco, what we have underneath the hood is a Cummins 444. What we've got on the back, we've got 39,500 pounds worth of groceries. We had just left the General Mills in Albuquerque and we are going over to Phoenix Freight, which is the airport.
through its USB connection. Oh, and guys, if it is going to rain, I do have a weather mod installed along with a physics mod. So you see me just shaking the truck here, how the uh, cab is rocking from side to side. That physics mod along with the weather mod that I have installed, oh my god, just it a whole new sense of realism for me. Yeah, Lieutenant Colonel, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I did. I don't have the heavy one installed, though. I did uh, just do the moderate one from the workshop. We're going to make sure that it rains a little bit. I was testing the mod the other day and had my rain up about halfway. I turned it back down. So let's turn it up just a little bit more. Let's make sure that it does rain. Hey, LeVar, how's it going? Very retro-ish paint job, that's definitely for sure. And I just, all I did was look for Viper 389 on the Steam Workshop, and this was on the second page. I forget the name of it. I need to start writing this stuff down because these creators of these skins and such definitely deserve the recognition. Yo, John, how's it going today? Arizona give us the press do not make us pull in I do have a profile with the Dalton map on it I have not got that updated for 1.31 as of yet If you are subscribed to the truck on the workshop, it was updated yesterday. For some odd reason, the on Vipers 389, the Pride in class looks so much better than if I was going to dress up the SCS 389 as a Pride in class. I don't understand why it just looks a whole lot better on Vipers.
working on them, so I would I would assume they would. Although the place that you do want to look for that info is on the SES forums under the map section of the mods. everyone's Sunday going so far and I'll be honest I would have been here earlier but I had to take a five and a half hour round trip drive this morning and I got home about 3 30 so I wanted to sit back and relax a little bit and then of course dress up the 389 before we started Uh, right now we are heading to uh, Phoenix and no right now I'm just in the base map moment when you sneeze and your track IR goes like that on you. Eh, better late than never. the other day I did take them out uh, only because the first load for me is even with an SSD is extremely long so uh, and, and then plus and I haven't been all over this map in a while so uh, we're gonna try to get into some a couple of different cities today that we haven't been to in a while such as Stockton Phoenix Sacramento we may even get our butts up to Reading Or maybe I should just avoid California altogether. Although, I really should throw in the City's Expansion version 2.3. I mean, I haven't been to McDermott or to Battle Mountain in Nevada. And those are a couple of places that I do want to visit. How's it going today? Welcome to the live stream.
see nothing wrong with the scale at being 120. Otherwise, you've got a 3,000 mile trip. It's bad enough at 120, you're already taking two hours to go 3,000 miles. If they changed it to 110, uh, you're just gonna be doubling your time sitting there to go across the country. Yes, there is a coast to coast compatible version of that one. And I'm sitting here praying, Coda, please know how to back up today. No more being all stupid. Yeah, the Dalton Highway is one to one. And that is a very challenging map, actually. go two to three hours for my Sundays are for trucking unless something happens to where I need to leave. Yes, it does, LeVar. This seat definitely takes me back. These fit though, well, the physics right now takes me way back to when I was driving. And I am a tall guy, mind you. I am six foot two in real life. And even with an air seat, when I was driving, I had a flat top Freightliner FLD 120. Don't ask me how many times I banged my head off of the ceiling. No, they're just cities, uh, just expanded cities uh, for the base map is all it is, Loire. So in California, you'll get a place like Vidal Junction. Um, another one, you'll get Chico, Placerville, South Lake Tahoe, you know, places like that. It, pretty, it adds on to the base, base map. station wagon did you see that he brake checked me I do not play those games How's it going today? We are running the Cummins Triple Four. Yo, Mike, how's it going? Long time no see. And 
we're doing my typical awesome like a possum self. You're looking at it pretty much American Truck Simulator and that is it. Uh, James, that was the SES 389. It was just a dashboard mod from Piva that I had installed. Uh, there's a... I didn't read through the entire changelog ghost. Uh, there is some new visors. They met he mentioned a new cab, but I didn't see it. Of course, there's updates for airlines. We've got some new bumpers. Uh, well, new fenders at least. Uh, there are skins for it in there, but the K200 is a paid mod from RTA. I am not across the stop line. What the hell are these guys doing? General, as far as I know, has been updated. Eridus Volvo, if you check the thread on the Steam work on the SES forums, uh, Tom Dewey did update that for 1.31. There it goes. Thanks for stopping in.
have fun going through customs, Lamar. <laughs> For Vipers, I have uh, Creech Bombs 2.7, the engines that come in it, and then I did enable a classic engine mod. Cody, you totally missed that. Now we got in here. It took me a couple of pull-ups, but it, hey, we're in the dock. Welcome back, Lieutenant Colonel. All right, let's take a look at the world map. Do I have the city's expansion in? I'll be able to tell... Mm, no, I don't. Let me go ahead and get that enabled. Now, this is probably going to reset me back to my home garage. It has been Las Cruces. It's probably going to throw me back into Santa Fe, which is what I changed it to. We're just going to quick travel back to Phoenix. Now let's see where we can go. Uh, we've been to Wells. Uh, let's see. South Lake Tahoe, we've already been there. Have I been to Placerville? Mm, yep, I, which is right there. Just outside of Sacramento. And those are just getting shorter, so... Uh, yeah, why not? Let's go to Fresno. Uh, nope, you did not just see that, Lieutenant Colonel. I did not stall the truck.
Sundry, how's it going today? No, uh, the Dalton, Dalton Elliott Highway, that is, it's a different way to install it, but, uh, it is not compatible. And we're gonna go ahead and haul a Cardinal trailer this time. A lot of, the Cardinal Freight itself, those guys, a good majority of them are owner-operators. Is which one is don't stand alone low down? Oh, that's right. Yeah, the Dalton Elliott Highway. Duh, that is a standalone. Oh Jesus! What the heck did I do that for? Here I was connected, and then I uh, went ahead and disconnected. You idiot! All right, now those headlights I was talking about, you'll see them flashing there. That is one of the things with the new headlights that Viper did add, kind of like a strobe effect to them. I am really hoping for some rain, at least on this trip. But, of course, we've got a nice uh, clear sky, stars in the sky. Yeah, we're not going to get rain unless we get closer to California. From the Steam Workshop there, James, if you are already subscribed to it, it's more than likely automatically been updated.
so sweet those red lights back there do shine that's why i was wondering if i that's one reason why i like viper's truck is i can actually put a backup cab lighting on and it shines under the trailer that looks sick idea why I'm going to California. I get sick of driving 55 miles an hour all the time. This is a Cummins triple four, O'Shane. I was going to run a 3406 cat, but the Jake wasn't loud enough. Go figure. This is a Vipers 389, you can grab it from the Steam Workshop. All you need to do is type in Viper 2.2 and it should pop up right on the first page. All 
sell that for a smoky with a customer. Really? I mean, this is the one thing that really ticks me off is the A height definitely needs adjusted. itself is part of Creech Bombs 2.7. And if anyone who has been playing ATS for a while knows, Captain Creech Bomb is the master when it comes to engine sounds. The thing with the triple four though is not available for all the trucks and the base trucks the 389 and the w900 and then it does work on vipers 389 oh trust me i know my brother is still a driver i hear it every single day talking on the phone the next thing I hear except it's a regular stock Kenworth air horn and all the next thing I hear him say is damn four-wheeler I mean it it never ceases to amaze me I just start laughing when he does it uh, no Martin when I got home last night and turned on steam I saw a nearly 400 megabyte update downloading and then I checked my subscribed items and saw that it was Viper's truck updating so it's like yeah automatic gotta run it today. yesterday is needed some time for myself and I took mom to our local dirt racetrack for the night. Uh, it's kind of hard to see Martin. It's in the middle of the night. I can hop to it you can at least see the headlights and stuff the paint job you're really not going to see too well
the Xbox controller works just as good, O'Shane. I'd never tried either one of them. Uh, roger that, Lieutenant Colonel. You be safe and uh, hope everything works out for you. Viper's truck fully updated. The one skin that I really want. Do any of you guys watch the vlog by the name of Life is Good? controllers would work whatever one that you're comfortable with well it's a owner operator who runs a 389 and just his truck of truck and trailer alone oh my god just go ahead and search it one of these days just search life is good he always has pictures of his truck and everything during the stream the guy is extremely intelligent and nice but definitely it is worth a watch like some of these trucking vlogs to where the drivers literally how to describe it without make them sound like a like idiots uh, well actually that's probably the one way to put it is he doesn't make himself sound like an idiot he knows the business inside and out and very very informative
Yes, it is. Baranaka Street just to go up and get on 5. We're going to go underneath the overpass here and we're going to go up and jump on 5 this way. Saves a little bit of time and we don't have a 35 mile an hour speed limit. That cream and brown scheme that he has going on, oh my god, it just looks stunning. horsepower x15 underneath the hood 2050 on the torque 18 speed transmission is like uh yeah give me one of those Coast to Coast and Canada Dreams, but I do not have Viva Mexico. Oh yeah, Tim is extremely old school. I was sitting uh he was on a load the one time for, it was contracted freight, uh, what he normally does, and his delivery got delayed a day, and literally, he had gotten on the company going, I own the truck, you may set the rates for the load itself, but I set my rates, and his detention pay from what the company wasn't going to give it to him. And the next thing you know, he's sitting there going, well, I am not delivering the load until I get the detention de de pay. Pretty much they gave in and gave him what he wanted.
why not? Because um, I haven't got it yet. I wish I was 20 years younger than what I am, I probably would still be driving and uh, wouldn't have came off the road. out in 1.29 I mean maps at that time did incorporate all of those into those and then they had to sit and redo it all over again when 1.31 came out they with the way SCS is doing maps it's actually easier from what I understand now could I actually sit there and make a map nope because I would be a dummy when it comes to stuff like that. about Fresno is there's like three Walmarts in that city and there's one outside and the other two are inside the city I have absolutely no idea which one that I am going to
Whoops. I thought the next exit was a little bit longer than that. I didn't come to a complete stop at the top of the on-ramp, but why should I if nothing was coming? That's what we call a rolling stop. Now, where I live at, a funny story is, cops will actually watch stop signs here, and if you don't come to a full stop, they will pull you over and then tag you for a traffic violation. I do semi trucker look for the link below the video there on a mixer Just scroll down. Uh, 
what you see at the top there, Amazing ATS. It should be youtube.com slash C slash Amazing underscore ATS. Yes, it is, Martin. Yeah, I am not going to be doing any blindside backing today because I really suck at it. And I can't get out and take a look, so uh, we're just going to pull in here. Alright, one second, Semi. Alright, give me one moment guys, I will be right back. Well, and that's if I throw you into the right screen. Alright, there you go, Semi. There is the link for you. Yeah, most of the 389s do use X15s. That is true. But I've also seen at Packard Motors underneath their hoods, too. All depends on what the customer wants. I definitely don't want to go back down. Let's go ahead and just pick up this uh, petrol uh, thing here at uh, Texaco. Why not? You guys did not hear that. It wasn't me. different versions of the cables you will see I'm running one of the new fender sets along with one of the new uh, lighting that you can set up on your own and I believe 
we be editing new cab one of the 63 inch varieties? Did add some new headlights. I know it's probably you, Semi. Awesome, appreciate the sub there on YouTube in addition to Mixer. I'm not sure LeVar and it seems like my YouTube notifications are not working and what the hell we are gonna haul a Sunoco trailer no we're going to Texaco so let's we're going Texaco to Texaco uh, let's see do we have a Texaco trailer and figures we don't All right, we'll just run Chrome. Why not? Uh, that's from Sissel's trailer pack. He added some taker skins. And since we are going to be hauling hazmat, if we do run across any railroad tracks, we are going to follow all hazmat rules. I'm going to do a quick stop here at the guard shack, get our paperwork or uh, give them whatever, and we're off.
since we are going to Stockton though, uh, this is going to be a straight shot up 5 in order to get there, so uh, no railroad tracks or anything. Interstate 5 like a doofus, we're actually on California 99. Sean, how's it going today? The only time that you would be late is if I was streaming and then when you got here, I wasn't. usually saying this but if you guys are enjoying today's live stream and you are on YouTube make sure you give the stream a thumbs up if you are not already subscribed go ahead and hit that red subscribe button then enable notifications by hitting the bell that way you are notified every time I do go live Nokia ringtone that you're hearing there in the back this is a hot load so we do need to get it dropped off here and thank goodness our drop off point is right up here
awesome. I appreciate it. And the engine that I'm running today is a Cummins 444. All right, so I really want to go to Battle Mountain. I'm going to start, uh, go up by, not Origin, Destination, you idiot, and see if we can find anything going to Battle Mountain. And nothing. All right, how about uh, Chico, anything close? Nope, all New Mexico. So, ah, eh, screw it. Let's see what we've got here in Stockton. I don't have any beacons, but, uh, no big deal. You can take a, uh, container there over to, uh, Goldfield. Oh, th and that's going to take us through, uh, the California 120, the Tayuga Pass. Uh, yep, we just got our load. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna see me hauling just been hired, unfortunately not trained. We're just gonna take a plain white container. Version 2.3, James. It is available on the uh, SES forums.
and Goldfield is one of the cities in the city expansion uh, and it the city expansion is fully updated for 1.31 too. get a fine going through the Tioga Pass probably a thousand bucks but uh, I've got like two billion sitting in the bank so uh, yeah that's kind of chump change
actually this is Trucker's MP. What they need to do for ATS, you know how they have the uh, trailer for the Skoda car went for ETS2 players? They ought to port that over onto ATS. Fifty to four sixty is where I'm at when I last looked. Vehicles over forty five feet prohibited. Uh, okay, whatever you say. thousand bucks. Oh, in order to get monetized again, I need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours over the last year. I've the last look at my watch hours was at 39.87, so I'm nearly there on the watch hours. I just don't have the subscribers.
How's it going, Miles? And congratulations on breaking 850. That big old lake there on the right, that would have been awesome for fishing. And nothing like going through the Sierra Nevadas. bear is right on my ICC bar and if you guys well was if you guys don't know what an ICC bar is if you take a look at the bottom of the back of the trailer that bar that's down below the tail lights that is the ICC bar and what that does is prevent a car from going underneath the trailer more powerful engine this would definitely get up and go a little bit faster 
but I'm loving the sound of the 444 with this. like to see updated is a 387. Pop lights is what they're called, Martin. I just ran over a gator. Duncan always says the world runs on Dunkin' Donuts. Well, uh, the trucking world could run on Peterbilt's.
they've got a reputation that they've built up over the last probably 50 years or so. And it's a very good reputation. They're not going to tarnish it. Likely, yes. As long as there is trucking, there is always going to be a Peterbilt. this one is right in there all right sounds good to me Actually good enough that I've got enough room to get my butt into there, I think. Uh, nope, we gotta go over here a little bit more.
yep, totally screwed up there. Gotta straighten out just a little bit and give myself some room. I believe they may have started even before the 40s. Yep, that's up to version 2.1, I saw that. The whole problem with ATS with some of these drop-off locations, they are not big enough for what you would see in an American company. I mean, there's absolutely no reason for a docked in order to be this small. None whatsoever. Oh, we got her in there, though. I am going to get on out of here for the rest of this Sunday evening, guys. I do want to thank you for joining me for the 22, 22nd episode of Sunday's R for Trucking. My name is Coda. The channel's name is Amazing ATS. You guys have a great Sunday night. We'll see you on the flippity flop.